I am Darren Waters, Associate Professor of History here at UNC Asheville and also the Executive Director of Community Engagement. My involvement with this project really began once I took a trip to Montgomery a few years ago to actually visit the memorial to lynching victims here in the United States. After returning back here to Asheville, I found out that other community members had also visited the memorial and were interested in starting a conversation about how we as a community could come together to talk about this important historical topic. I was happy to have an opportunity to work alongside Kimberly Archie, who worked with the city of Asheville, to actually initiate this conversation and then to work with Orlean Simmons and the members of the Martin Luther King Association here in Asheville to actually lead this project. Part of my work with the project has been to serve on the research committee to actually advise those who are leading that committee as they do research into lynching victims or the cases of lynching that actually took place here in Buncombe County and some throughout Western North Carolina. As a historian, I've studied this period and I realize how important it is for us as a community if we're going to move forward as a community together to be willing to face these very difficult historical uh, events in our past. I'm Dr. Joseph Fox, Vice President of the Martin Luther King Jr. Association of Asheville and Buncombe County and the Chair of the Buncombe Community Remembrance Project. I bring you greetings on behalf of the 20 plus organizations that make up this collaborative initiative to bring the Equal Justice Initiative's historic marker to Asheville and Buncombe County, North Carolina. Community Remembrance Project aims to acknowledge and remember the three individuals of record that were lynched in Buncombe County, as well as to more accurately reflect the history of racial and economic injustice and inequality, to heal from the silent trauma surrounding racial violence of the Jim Crow era, lynching, mass incarceration, racial violence in communities, and state-sanctioned racial violence, as well as contemporary racial trauma and violence that are dedicated towards our Black Lives Matter movement to foster local conversations and reflections concerning community healing through truth-telling, educational programming, reconciliation events, and transforming narratives. The Buncombe Community Remembrance Project was initially created to build awareness of the history of racism in Asheville and Buncombe County. Our goal is to work together to take action to both acknowledge the past and to look at remedies. This is happening at a time of unprecedented challenges, but also some promising opportunities. We have the potential to move in the right direction if we support and follow the leadership of Blacks in this community. I am Orlean Anderson Graves Simmons, founder and president of the Dr. Martin Luther King Association of Asheville and Buncombe County Incorporated. For the past 39 years, since 1982, the Martin Luther King Association has had the pleasure of hosting our annual Martin Luther King prayer breakfast and other commemorative events. The events have reflected the support and dedication 
of thousands of Asheville and Buncombe County residents, businesses, institutions, and nonprofit organizations who believe in Dr. King's vision of an America and a world in which justice, equality, and love will prevail over injustice, hate, and prejudice. The association will now lead the newly formed Buncombe County Community Remembrance Project Coalition to bring public awareness and formal remembrance of citizens of Buncombe County who were lynched during the Jim Crow era in conjunction with the National Memorial for Peace and Justice in Montgomery, Alabama. <laughs>